It was not just some person speaking because he wants to impress people. He wants to get more donations. He wants to have a large ministry. Okay, and by the way, that's one of the reasons you can tell that's not my objective is because uh, I frequently say things that offend people. Anyone that's trying to build their own name for their own glory, for their own ministry, to get more donations would never do that. Okay, not in their right mind, they would not do that. But if they are trying to please God, trying to bring the truth, regardless of what people like or don't like, then, of course, sometimes that happens. Now, here's the test. Here's the test that we all have to follow to see if God really spoke. It's found in Deuteronomy 18.21. And it says, And if thou shalt say in thine heart, How shall we know the word which the Lord hath not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, and thou shalt not be afraid of him. In other words, when the prophet has spoken and has been accurate in the past, you should be afraid of them. You should listen, because it is God Almighty speaking through them. And there's other scriptures I won't go into right now that gives some really harsh penalties for those prophets that speak when God did not speak to them. I might also add there's some also really harsh penalties when the prophet did speak, but the people did not fear what was spoken. They did not listen. They did not heed it. Okay, so that brings us to one real big solid fact. God is speaking today, and you should be concerned for the minister or the ministry that does not believe God is speaking today. Two, but you have to follow the ministry that can bring you the accuracy. Now, I'd love to be able to tell you that we have some kind of a golden test here at the Prophecy Club, and we have never, ever, ever spoken anything that wasn't exactly correct and never had a guest on that was not exactly correct. I'd love, I pray for that. But we live in the real world, so there are mistakes made. We try to avoid them, and that's what you have to do, too. We try to avoid them. We try earnestly to seek after the truth, knowing that finding the truth is not exactly as easy as one would think. Now, with that in mind, let me explain to you about the DVD. This particular DVD was just recently made by Prophet Leslie. Okay, so who's Prophet Leslie? Here are some of the reasons why you listen to her. You see, if that racehorse has won five races in a row, then you can probably be pretty comfortable he's going to win the next one. If that golfer has got five hole-in-ones in a row, you can probably be pretty comfortable he's going to do good on the next shot, too. Same thing with the prophet. If the prophet has been accurate in the past without missing, and it is something that they could not know by the news or some kind of fleshy thing, then you better be listening, as the scriptures say, then you fear that prophet. So, let me tell you about her prophecies. The reason is, it's important that you know this, because I'm about to have her teach on true and false prophecies. This specifically is to help all of us to be able to discern when God is speaking and when he is not, God is talking, and you want to listen to what God is speaking, but you don't want to be fooled. Let me tell you about some of the prophecies fulfilled through Leslie. Now, this is not glorifying Leslie, okay? This is simply glorifying the Lord that has spoken to her. One. Station. Now, I'm just going, there's 13 of these, okay? I'm going to, there's a story behind every one of them. I'm not going through all the stories. I'm just going to read all 13 of these off just quickly. A TV station manager would be removed, and the station would be sold within three months. That happened. Two, Arafat would die in the hospital. True, two years later, he died. Three, Kathleen Sebelius would be elected as the next governor of Kansas. Fulfilled. The Prophecy Club vampires needed replaced or they would blow out. Fulfill. Great story. I'll skip it. Minister's car would die and should not be taken on the road. Fulfilled. 
She warned of meeting rooms being canceled on a Prophecy Club tour. Fulfilled. She prophesied Sean Johnson, my son, would be married by the end of 2001. At the time, he wasn't even dating anyone. Fulfilled. Mildew would hit the crops in Stockton, California. Fulfilled. A flood would hit El Paso. Twelve months later, flood hit El Paso. Fulfilled. Congregation member's baby would be red-headed and a boy. Fulfilled. Woman would have a Caesarean baby, and it would have been stillborn had she not warned her. Fulfilled. President Obama will travel the globe making promises to leaders. Fulfilled. And there's more. I think I've covered enough. I mean, I could spend a couple of broadcasts just telling about this. The main thing you need to know, since she is about to tell you some really important things to watch out for in ministries, and some things to be able to tell you, to be able to recognize when God is speaking and when he is not speaking, you need to know that she has been, and the prophecies through her have been accurate. Now, on this particular DVD, we have removed the names of those ministries that on the DVD she mentions by name. So if it is important for you to know the name of the ministry to avoid, then you got to get the DVD because, out of respect, we're not going to put those names on the ear. So, now let's go listen to Prophet Leslie Johnson speaking on...